by the end of this video you will completely understand how to buy sneakers on release date so by now if you on this video you probably took a l on every single sneakers drop you've ever tried or if that's not the case then you're on a long long cold drought like i am and basically it's been a while since you last took your last w on sneakers either way if you own this video you realize that bots have completely taken over sneaker drops and if you haven't realized that then newsflash bots have completely taken over sneaker drops now many people have felt the effects of this whether you're somebody who's just trying to cop your shoes for your personal wear or if you're trying to jump into the resale game everybody's feeling the effects and while bots are taking over people are still hitting manual and not only are they hitting manually but people are actually having great reseller success hitting manually as well so if you stick around to the end of this video and only if you stick around to the end of this video i will go over the best possible ways that you can cop sneakers without any bots on release date all right so this first way i'm gonna tell you is the most practical and when i say practical i mean the most doable the most easy to do anybody can do this and honestly this is the way it's most commonly done and that's enter in-store raffles like everybody else now i know what you're thinking like bro i've been doing that and that does not work However, you're not just gonna do it with just your email, just you one person. You don't just enter under one person. What you do is tell your little brother, hey, enter for me. You tell your girlfriend, hey, enter for me. You tell your mom, hey mom, can you enter this raffle for me? You maximize your chances. Now, if you wanna take it a further step from there, then what you do is a method called catch all, right? Buy a domain, right? Like I bought a domain. I bought a domain for like eight bucks. And with that plan, you get like 20 emails under that domain. So what I did was made 20 emails, right? And that gives me 20 entries versus just one. Now, if you can't do that, if that's a little too technical for you, I completely understand. Gmail does allow you to have, I think up to three or four and that's once again still better than just one entry now when you can really get into making this powerful and really making this this method work is if you get a team and once again you can do this without a team but if you have a team if you have people on board with you let's say two and three of your homies do the same method i just told you about that's potentially up to 60 entries versus just y'all's three, right? So now when you do this, you set yourself up to hit on multiple pairs. So definitely understand that that's actually the best way to do it, the most easy way to do it. Now, now let's talk about some online methods. The most popular way to buy sneakers online today is the sneakers app, right? Now, if you're online, if you don't live under a rock, then you know everybody talks about how many L's they take on sneakers. And the way the sneakers app operate is, is they do a Leo drop. So what they do is let everybody put their submissions in and then they pick the winners out of all those submissions. Honestly, there's a couple of ways for you to improve your chances and I'm gonna let you know how. The first way is to log into your Nike sneakers account on multiple devices. However, if you do that, make sure you're not on the same network, for instance. If I have my phone on cellular data and my laptop on Wi-Fi, then that's cool. However, if I have my laptop on Wi-Fi and doing the sneakers app on my phone on Wi-Fi, it'll look it'll it's the same entries. You can log in into as many devices as possible, then that might help. Now, the best way to increase your chances buy my active Nike accounts and that definitely counts as way more entries, all right? Now, I know I told you about the catch-all method earlier. I wouldn't advise you to do that for Nike sneakers simply because these need to be accounts and these need to be active accounts and they need to be linked to a phone number. And I know a lot of us don't have access to 20, 30, 100 phone numbers. So that's why there's people who sell these type of accounts that are that are aged well, that have human activity, that sneakers won't flag. Which brings me into my next point about sneakers. Contrary to what most people believe, the sneakers app is botted, but it's not botted as hard as people may think. What? Because honestly, Nike has some world-class bot protection. That alone means you as a manual user automatically have a better chance copping on sneakers than in than most places. Now I know you're thinking like, bro, how is that if you know that I've been going through a drought? This is why you've been going through a drought. Number one, simply because demand. There's more people who want the shoes than there is actual pairs of shoes. That's number one. Number two, I think most of our accounts actually get flagged as bots and that's why we don't cop. Now that's my theory and this is why. 
because there's people who constant who consistently hit on sneakers right and even if you just even if you play the percentage game if you go if you've been going for just one hype sneaker a month you should hit at least once or twice and since some people have never hit on sneakers so that lets me know that there's a criteria there's something and the fact that nike has good bot protection lets me know there's something that they're fighting against something that they're looking for to say that okay you're a bot and there's also something that they're looking for to say okay you're not a bot because once again people are hitting consistently now the people that i've seen hit the most on sneakers have paypal as their payment method and have female accounts that's just what i've noticed check the comments on all the top sneaker videos and you'll see that that's a common theme all right outside the sneakers app you got stores what we call foot sites right foot locker champs east bay foot action all those type of stores now those are flow drops which means first come first serve and i'm gonna keep it all the way real you have the least chance of copying on a foot site manually because honestly bots just feast on drops like this and the likelihood of you getting through all the traffic all the bots all the bugginess of the foot sites is slim to none if you're a daredevil if you're like nah rico bro i'm going for the foot sites i want the smoke well then here's some sauce that i can give you to help you try to defeat this monster one thing that i didn't know that most people don't know is that foot sites let's say a shoe comes out at nine which is at nine central time that's when they come out for us it comes out at nine and let's say it, it says it sells out at 9 30 because those drops are a little longer it restocks pretty much throughout the whole day and even sometimes throughout the whole month like for instance the cool gray threes that came out weeks ago restocked today like like right before i recorded this video which also tells you at all times of the night and day like foot sites restock sneakers randomly in order for you to know that though however you need to be in a cook group and i and i stress that to y'all a lot is that if you're gonna do anything manually or even botting if you're gonna do anything in the sneaker world in today's world like like you're completely lost without a cook group unless your mom works for nike now the other part of the online world where sneakers are bought is from shopify sites now these stores are stores like kith bodega concepts undefeated places like that now i call stores like that hype stores and bots do feast on these type of websites however they get creative and they get tricky which leaves room for people who are hitting manual to come in and sneak in some manual hits now shopify sites usually have pretty complicated captures which which i don't care if you have a bot or not if you stumble on captures you need to you need to solve a caption in order for your bot to get to the next step so with that being said if if you go manual and you can solve captures fast and you have your auto field settings turned in on Shopify, you definitely can hit manual. One piece of advice I can give you on websites like that is not to refresh too fast because that's how they flag you as a bot and then they're gonna throttle your speed. On sites like that, speed is what matters. Now I wanna talk about a store that doesn't get talked about a lot and that's Hibbit. You have a great chance of copying manual on Hibbit because they have the best bot protection ever. Now, I don't know if it's by design, but because their website is so buggy it's really hard for bots to do anything on there so that's good news for somebody like you who wants to cop manual right i mean you can get blocked off of hibbit for just refreshing the page too much now here's some sauce though the best way to hit pairs on hibbit is to go through your mobile browser and while hibbit stock does go fast it's not because of botters and because of that you have an improved chance a better chance than most places of copying if you do the steps like i told you to do them and I'm telling you all this from the seat of a botter. See, I just recently got in a sneaker botting and I have a series where I'm going from a beginner to a master botter. Meet me over, y'all meet me over in that video. Thank y'all for rocking out with me. Happy Friday to everybody. Love y'all. Let's get it.